So let's get into dictionaries, and that's going to end the uh, sub-series, I guess, of types. Uh, this is going to be the last type that we're going to talk about. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up a terminal here and jump into Python. Now in the previous video, when we created a list, we used square brackets, and we entered a comma-separated uh, values in there, which became our list. Uh, however, in order to create a dictionary, we're going to open up and close uh, curly brackets here. Now, in a previous video, I told you guys that we don't use curly brackets in Python, and that was a lie. And just so you know, there's going to be a few of those throughout this course, so keep your, uh, keep your eyes open for them. What I meant to say, and just to clarify, you don't wrap code blocks in curly brackets like you do in PHP and JavaScript. Uh, instead, the only use that Python has for curly brackets is to define a dictionary. So rather than entering comma-separated values, we're going to enter comma-separated values, but each one of those is going to be a key and a value. So let's go ahead and create one. Let's create a person. So the name is going to be Nick. Age is going to be 27. And hobby is going to be code. And that becomes our dictionary. Now, again, you can, uh, hold on. You can access, uh, I try to do that the JavaScript way here. Uh, which you put a dot and then the name of the key that you're looking for. Uh, in Python, you do it like this, uh, kind of like when you define an index number here. Uh, uh, if you were to do this, uh, it wouldn't be able to find it because it's not a list. But with an array, we would have done that. In here, we just uh, type the name of the value we want. So name is going to print out Nick. If we put in age... That's going to print out 27. And uh, if we entered hobby, that's going to print out code. And so that's how to define a dictionary and how to retrieve certain values from the dictionary. This is also going to become uh, very useful later on once we get to, um, well, once we get to JSON itself, because we are going to do a video on JSON, but also once we start. Uh, uh, once we start working with a lot of data, uh, some of it's gonna, some of it we're gonna explicitly convert into JSON data, just so we can parse it like this. Because this is uh, one of the easiest ways to parse data uh, is is using this format. So, uh, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. This ends the subsection of types, and in the next video, we're gonna be learning about variables.